Today's been a horrible day. I feel like Walt in that episode of Breaking Bad with the fly in the damn lab. I'm not even kidding here. All day long, there's been like a couple flies. I, I record in my garage where my little studio is. And it's clean in here, but there's these flies. There's like two of them, man. I went and bought this little fly zapper, some fly trap things, and th these things are looting me. It's driving me freaking nuts. Man, so uh, just bear with me here. Today I wanted to talk about the uh, Worldwide Developers Conference 23, in which Apple announced a bunch of things, man. The Apple Vision Pro, which is what I want to talk about today, the MacBook Air 15, Mac Studio, uh, this cheese grater, I guess Apple cheese grater, and a few other things, right? So this Apple Vision Pro, I just seen that damn fly out of the corner of my eyes. I'm going to freaking break one of my monitors by accident, trying to kill these things, and it's pissing me off. But this Vision Pro, holy crap, right? So people are like, Apple's going to come out with a VR headset. Oh my God, right? And it's not really a VR headset. Look at this thing, right? So this chick here, she's uh, wearing it. You can see her eyes. And uh, what, what is this thing until? There's this big uh, cord down the back. And the videos I've seen, it's like it, it's something in their pocket. So maybe a battery pack or maybe part of the uh, CPU. I, I don't know. But welcome to the era, era of spatial computing where you can have all your apps in front of your eyes. This isn't VR. This is AR, this augmented reality. Right, and we've seen this, but this is definitely way more advanced than plenty of the ones that we've seen out there. I even like the Enreal Air, something, something like some glasses you put on. It was AR. You had your apps, and you can manipulate them and stuff. It was kind of cool, but this takes that way far, like way beyond that. So I understand it's very uh, high tech stuff here. You can use your fingers to like move things around. You don't have to have freaking like controllers and all that, right? Pretty interesting. Let me turn this damn ringer off. Today's just a freaking messed up day. I'm just so annoyed. Oh my God. So seam seamlessly blend digital content with your physical space. Navigate by using your hands, eyes, and voice, right? The, you know, okay. You could do things you love in ways never before possible. What this is, is a headset for lonely people. Like who's going to sit there? Like you got to be uh, rich and, and have nobody. Like you, you ain't got nobody around. You're just by yourself. You ain't got nobody on that love seat with you. You're just sitting there. I'm going to watch a movie by myself. That's it. Like, that's what this technology is designed for, is a lonely-ass world. People who don't have other people, I guess. Oh, my God. But, yeah, free your, your desktop and your apps will follow. This thing is $3,500 freaking dollars, dude. That's what the point is. $3,500 to, to be able to sit around and watch movies and play with your apps, with your fingers, without a controller. This isn't like the Oculus Quest. This isn't like the PSVR 2. Sure, this thing's got some like, you know, very uh, uh, high level of technology. It just showed somebody picking up a, a, a PlayStation controller. Like, ooh, uh, because they, they were playing their PlayStation through it. It wasn't like VR or anything. Oh, my God. The stream Foundation on the Apple TV. What? I don't know what the, all that's saying there. But this is not a gaming headset. It's augmented reality to watch stuff off of your phone, your Apple apps. I'm not an Apple person. I'm not going to lie. I, obviously, I mean, if I'm not, I'm not going to lie about it. Like, I'm just not an Apple person. I have an Apple TV, which I freaking love. Ever since we changed to that, I was like, it, the, the quality is just beyond any other streaming device or, you know, the whole, you know, ecosystem. It's kind of a pain in the ass getting going on the download iTunes creator. Like, it was freaking stupid. But once that thing was going, I love the device. Like, I have an Android phone. I've never used Apple before. Um, one of my kids had an Apple phone, but I, it confused me. You know, it, when you get used to one thing and trying to, you know, use the other, can be a little a little weird, but that's okay. Some people have their preferences, but I just don't see it. $3,500. Look, look at this chick right there. Do you see, like, everybody's got this, this, this tail. Is it connected to their phone or is it connected to something else, like part of it? It's like in her pocket there, sitting there like, okay, let me talk to all these people. I'm sure there's like business applications with this, but this is going to be designed by Apple for rich people with expendable income who like are lonely, lonely. People don't want to be around people anymore. And you know, I haven't been around people for a long while and it, it, it's a sad existence. I'm just kidding. I'm around plenty of people, but like, 
you know, people don't want to work with other people. People don't want to be around other people. They just want to like di everything digitally. Okay, I guess that's the future, man. But one day, are we going to be getting into that like uh, uh, Ready Player One where they're running around with these freaking VR headsets on the street, not getting hit by cars or getting killed? I don't even understood how that was possible. Maybe with one of these where you could see through it, right? Singular piece of three-dimensional form laminated glass frozen into an aluminum alloy frame that curves to wrap around your face. Right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that big ass thing on the back of her head. The external battery supports up to two hours of use and all day use when plugged into power. You got to have it plugged in to get all day use. Obviously, technology like battery technology freaking sucks, dude. It's, it's ridiculous. Two hours of life on this thing. It's like all these devices that are coming out. The, the Asus freaking Ally or whatever like an hour and a half, two hours battery life. The Steam Deck, if you're going crazy with the, you know, a couple hours maybe. Tons of devices, gaming laptops, you have to be plugged in, man. You, you get like 10 minutes of, uh, of battery life. Like battery technology is just not there. Just not there for these kinds of applications with these like high powered CPUs and whatnot. It just, it's, I, I don't get it, man. Like this is pretty much a beta test for developers and people who are, have a lot of expendable income. And I know Apple stuff typically is, is expensive off the bat. Like just, you know, a lot of their stuff's pretty pricey, their computers and whatnot. You know, I haven't paid close attention lately, but I've always known it was like premium quality, premium price type of thing. Okay, man, this thing, it looks neat, but for an average person like me, I don't really see the use out of it. If I can't play games on it and I could just look at stuff like I could on a phone, but just in front of me and I could watch movies, like I don't, I don't want to watch movies in augmented reality. Like the only people who's going to get something, some use out of that, somebody who's like all by themselves or the people I hear, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to bother anybody. I don't want to bother anybody. I mean, I don't know who you're living with if you feel like you're bothering people, but maybe you got roommates, stuff like that. Something like this would come in handy. Like, hey, I could just watch a movie on like a 300-inch screen and my my freaking roommate. I got roommates too. I got, you know, three kids and a wife. You know, they're essentially roommates, but, you know, typically we do things together. You know what I mean? We watch movies and shit, and this, this wouldn't work for me. But, hey, if I was by myself, maybe. But at $3,500... I could buy a nice phone, I could buy a nice TV, I could buy a PS5, I could buy a PSVR 2, I could buy an Oculus Quest, and still have some money left over. Like, this is crazy, dude. This price is nuts. I just don't get it, man. So that's my rant and ramble for the day, and this goddamn fly, it was right behind me, right? Now. I'm gonna lose my shit today. I Like, why do these little things? Because it bugs, I haven't been able to do anything today, because these damn flies. They're pissing me off, man. Oh, my God. I'm, hey, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. This fucking fly is going to be sorry in a minute, hopefully. But, yeah, $3,500. Uh, get notified. Comes out, like, next year sometime. I don't, I don't really see anything groundbreaking here. The technology, sure, but the application, yeah, whatever, man. Bye.